everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sara, and I have a toddler son named Sudeman. What are you doing? The back break. You want to see the baby? Can you give baby Bosa? Oh, thank you. I'm expecting baby number two in February, and I'm currently 34 weeks pregnant. So today I'm gonna to be bringing you guys my 34 week pregnancy update or bump date. I do these weekly on my channel, so if you really like these types of videos, please be sure that you check out that playlist like somewhere up here. Like this video for more videos and subscribe for more content as well. I love to hear from you guys. If you're also pregnant, let me know in the comments. I would love to see who else is on this journey with me. It's really exciting getting to engage with you guys and and with that, let's get into this video. I like to start off these updates by talking about the baby's development. So at 34 weeks gestation, the baby is about 18 inches long and on average weigh about five pounds. Now this varies if you're carrying twins. If you have twins, they're usually about five pounds when they're born full term around 37 weeks and forward. This is about the size of a butternut squash. Baby starts to gain about half a pound per week going forward. The majority of this weight that they put on is called brown fat or adipose. Contrary to white fat cells, brown fat cells carry more mitochondria and are activated by the cold. They are specifically for body temperature regulation and they tend to form around the spine, back and shoulders. And this is again to prevent hypothermia at birth. And that's the majority of the development that's happening at 34 weeks aside from lung development, which continues. Most of their energy now is going towards putting on weight. So this week I want to share with you guys what's in my baby hospital bag. I did share what's in my hospital bag in a previous update, but I didn't get the chance to show you what's in my baby's bag. And this big old guy is my baby's hospital bag. How cute is that? And yes, I went with floral because I'm a female and I like patterns with flowers. So I'm gonna be wearing this. I got this bag actually when I was traveling in Korea. And if you haven't seen that, I have vlogs up with my husband of our travel there. I would have never imagined that when I purchased this that I would be using it for this purpose. Up here in the first compartment, there's a zipper and I put the nasal aspirator and I put one, pacifier because he doesn't need more than one in the hospital anyways if I even give it to him in the hospital and then this cute pacifier clip for when we leave and I thought that would be nice to give my little guy because this time I'm not gonna wait to give the pacifier last time I waited I think until he Suleiman was three weeks old and I don't really see a difference in doing that it didn't make a difference in terms of whether the baby latched or not. In this main compartment, it opens like so, so it's just a big open compartment. I brought my own wipes because in Canadian hospitals, they don't typically provide wipes, so you can call your hospital and see what they do provide. They usually have a list of what they do and don't offer. In here, what I have are those Huggies natural wipes, the ones that are 99% water. I love them. I've been using them with my son since the day he was born. He's I've packed a package of sample diapers I don't know if I'm gonna end up using Pampers, but they sent me a free sample, so I'll use it. In that same uh, back pocket here, and then I put in this Tupperware container a nipple shield. I know it's really painful in the beginning, and some people have um, mixed reviews about nipple shields, but I honestly feel if I used it longer with my son, he would have stayed on rather than trying to go from with and without, if that makes sense, especially with a preterm baby. And I don't know if this baby will also be preterm. And then on the same topic of breastfeeding and that sort of thing, I'm bringing the baby wrap. So I showed this in my previous vlog. I purchased a baby wrap, I've washed it. It's in here, it's ready to go. It comes in a cute little pouch. How great is that? But my goal is to keep the baby on me as much as possible to hopefully promote breastfeeding. So I packed a couple outfits for the hospital because Newborns tend to have blowouts, first and foremost. And second of all, I don't know how long I'm gonna be in there for. So my mom got this one for him and I like it because it's a zipper onesie. It's all super soft, organic cotton. Love that. Yeah, Burt's Bees one that she also got for him, my mom, is awesome. Super soft, stretchy zipper. Zippers are essential. Either use something with a zipper or use something like a gown to pull up because you, you don't want to be doing teeny tiny little clasps in the middle of the night. And then I also got this plain white one. 
and they're all footed as well so i'm not really worried about socks and i know some people are concerned about mitts i'm not packing any mitts babies lose them they tend to fall off anyways and you can just roll the sleeve over their hands and it does the same thing so i'm not bringing any baby mitts i'm also bringing this swaddle it's got little bears with a matching hat i thought that was also super adorable. I have one receiving blanket. This I had from last time with Suleiman. And then I have this beautiful swaddle from my best friend from a company called The Over Company. And then I have this blanket just in case. I don't really know if he's gonna need a blanket as well. Last time I did use this leaving the hospital with Suleiman. So it's just more of a memorable thing for me. I might do the same thing with him. For going home, I brought him this going home outfit that my friend purchased for him. So it has this piece first, which is like the underneath onesie part. And then it has these soft bottoms. Oh, and that's why I packed the socks because this one doesn't have uh, footed at the bottom. So I'm gonna put them in socks. And then I have, it has this jacket type cardigan thing or sweater with teddy bear ears, but I've also paired it with this adorable little hat. How cute is that? So, so cute. And you can see I didn't really pack that much. And the reason is I know that the hospital does provide formula. So if I need formula, I will be given that by the hospital. They do provide some diapers. And I know that because if you don't have diapers with you, they give you diapers. And that's all that I packed in my baby's hospital bag. If there's anything that you think I should add to that, let me know in the comments below. I know uh, some people might suggest an apno cream or apno all-purpose nipple ointment. I'm not packing that because the hospital does provide that. And with that, I'm gonna show you guys my bump shot. So this is my bump from the front. You can't see. And this is my bump from the side. And that's my bump at 34 weeks. And with that, we'll call it a video. If you like these types of videos, please be sure that you like this video, subscribe for more content, and join my little family. Leave a comment below if you think I should be bringing something else to the hospital or something that you really benefited in your baby's hospital bag. I'm kind of on the fence on this because this is my first actual time packing a baby bag. Last time I gave birth, I gave birth early and I just wasn't prepared at all. So this time I'm trying my best to be as prepared as possible. Of course, we have the car seat and the car seat cover. Not really sure what else I'm missing here. Let me know in the comments. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.